quit. That might be, be quit over gun confiscation um, plan that leaked. What's the best headline? Yeah, 50 of Bloomberg's mayors, well, they quit the group. So we can say technically, as long as you explain that, 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit after gun confiscation plan leaked. That's the headline. Let's change it to that. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit. They quit his group. We'll put that in the subheadline or whatever. New York mayor warns that group promotes confiscation of guns and from law-abiding citizens. That's an excellent subheadline. The point is 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit. After gun confiscate, after nationwide gun confiscation plans leaked, you want a short headline, but let me think of that. How, how do you crystallize it? Matt Drudge was here. You could tell me how to do it, or maybe Joseph Farrell. Let me throw anything. Um, Fifty, because I mean, how do you crystallize this evil? Fifty. Fifty. Put the headline back up here. Fifty. Oh, I see it there. Fifty. Thanks. Fifty of Bloomberg's mayors quit. That's the group, but they'll read that in the article. 50 of Bloomberg's, because that's what it is, they're in his group, so they quit. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit after gun confiscation plan leaked. That's it. After gun confiscation plan leaked. And folks, this is the new article with all the intel, all the data. David Knight's report on this last night. All of it right now. <clears throat> ready at Infowars.com. At Infowars.com. At Infowars.com. And it's been tweeted out at Real Alex Jones, retweeted immediately. And we're going to add to that some of the videos where they say they're going to confiscate the guns. And, uh, of course, uh, the, the mayor pro team in Austin saying, oh, the plan is to register and confiscate. So that's, that's key data of their deception and their evil. Now, here's the article. Uh, this is out of WASZ News Channel 3. Mock disaster training exercise in Scoto County. Is that right? Socio, and it goes on to say the Army National Guard responds to the school being attacked. A dead science teacher, weapons of mass destruction, first responders in hazmat suits at the Ohio Army National Guard. They had to counter the right wing. Don't forget there's such a thing as domestic terrorism, they go on, as they practice taking on two school employees who are disgruntled over the government's interpretation of the Second Amendment plot to use chemical, biological, and radiological agents against members of the community. That's right. The gun owner, see the headline on this should be military trains to fight gun owners or military runs PSYOP to ca military cast gun owners as enemy. See, that's, see, 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 what we really need to do is decipher the bull. I've told you every federal grant I've seen that goes back 20 years for these shooting drills is... The local, you know, homeschooling group attacks and murders the children. In the drill, the children who they actually put in the drill without asking, beg for their lives and mommy. Uh, blow up a bus that's been donated so that we can scare them more. Uh, oh, in this drill, it's a land rights conservative group is going to attack the police station. In this drill, gun owners are going to attack the school. Right here, W-A-S-Z. And then even though the article that's breaking, national news, I'm not criticizing it, is Ohio National Guard training envisions right-wing terrorism? No, it doesn't. The military is training in, in drills all over the country with police, casting gun owners as people that are going to kill everyone so that when the black op teams go out and commit a bunch of false flags, they can come kill me. Do you understand how close this is getting? And then you cops get to have a civil war. With 100 million gun owners plus, you think that's a fun job? Who's your friend? I'm your friend, and you better be my friend, and you better get religion right now and figure out this takeover, or they're going to do it. Colin Watson right now, I want an article on this. I mean, that's just, just making me sick. It's making me sick. It can be sick how obvious this is. We got criminals running the country. They're going to blow stuff up and kill kids and blame us. I've told you over and over again. They're going to shoot up schools and blame them on the liberty movement. And then they might even nuke a city or blow up the power grid or release a bioweapon and say we did it. I'm telling you, whatever happens, they're going to blame us because we're the people in opposition to their evil. Teaching kids two plus two equals five, trying to screw their little brains up. <clears throat> And I tell you, you're going to find out who your friends are in all this. A lot of people are cowards out there and are you know, bailing out of the liberty movement because they see how real it is now. It isn't just some group or club they're in. But a lot of people, we didn't even think we're our friends are our friends now because they realize how serious this is.
We only stop this by being bold. You're only going to stop this by speaking out. You're only going to stop this by admit it's going on. But we don't have time to screw around. Hey, look around you, folks, wherever you're listening to this show. There's no secret team out there going to save you. Look around you. There's no other group out there. You're all we got, and that's a lot if you knew how much power you had. But I read these reports where they train, and now they've gone operational in the news. They haven't been doing that in the last 15, 20 years. This has been going on for a while, but now almost every operation is gun owners attacking the mall, gun owners attacking the supermarket, gun owners attacking the church. And they get the churches involved, and they all walk around with a little, little preacher you know, who's probably you know, turning tricks with, with you know, people down the street. And the point is, you know, in total twinkle toes. And they get them up there and have the, the parishioners practice the right wing attack on the church. I mean, it's unbelievable. And then they believe it. Oh, the right wing is going to, the gun owners are going to attack the school. The gun owners. Lowest crime rate out there. The libertarian con con uh, conservatives. Lowest crime rate. Everybody knows that. We're going to bioweapon attack the Ohio town. Nobel Prize winner Alexis Carroll, cell biology researcher, discovered a detoxified and nourished cell lives in a state of eternal youth. Clean cells will result in improved energy, mood, blood sugar, liver function, and skin health. Also, you can lose fat and keep or gain muscle and reduce or eliminate inflammation and more. To discover how to detoxify and nourish the 100 trillion cells of your body, call this free recorded message at 866-844-1047. That's 866-844-1047. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Story on Infowars.com. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors bail over gun confiscation agenda. That is a huge, huge story. 50 of them bail after gun confiscation plan leaked. The headline has now been upgraded. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit after gun confiscation plan leaked. That is so huge. And I didn't even get into the TSA ripping diapers off people with colostomy bags, who've had surgery. Uh, that's a big story up at drugsreport.com. Uh, I didn't even get into, notice they're saying 
Ohio teachers are going to bioweapon and nerve gas the school because they're mad that the Second Amendment's being trampled and the definition being changed. Here's Law Blog. Supreme Court asked to clarify what it means to bear arms, changing the word to mean a bear, like a bear in the woods. I'm not kidding. This is the Supreme Court hearing it right now. You might think the question would be settled by now, but no, it's been brought forward. They're not playing games, ladies and gentlemen. They're going for broke. We have to be aware of their plans. How do you take America over? Fund Al-Qaeda, let them attack us, set up a police state to counter the people you publicly are in control of because they're offshore globalists. How excited would you get if you found out America was run by offshore ruthless corporations involved in a total corporate takeover, funding the destruction of the nation, all your basic liberties, funding terror groups, and preparing to persecute and purge veterans, gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, and evangelical Christians? What would you do if you learned that? Well, it's in the news now, what we told you years ago, that they say it's terrorism to be an evangelical Christian or in the Tea Party. Don't be part of it or you'll be court-martialed. This is Soviet-type activity. They're trying. And you're like, well, they're not going to get away with it. Oh, when they blow up some schools and some shopping malls, or at least bioweapons or all of it together, or nuke a city, and blame it on us, they're going to try. And the average coward in the government's going to go ahead and go along with it. And folks, if you go along with it at that key juncture, it's over. These people really want to hurt America. They really do hate America. They really do hate the, the idea of freedom. And they conquer us fully, they conquer the world. And all you mainline Republicans that are trying to work with the Democrats to shut down the Tea Party, you're suicidal. Not just for the party, for yourselves. You are nuts. You are crazy. 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 I mean, I just cannot believe how real this is and that it's all really happening. And I see articles every couple days where they're training where gun owners are going to attack schools. That's never happened because they're gun owners. Pro-Second Amendment people, I know them, I'm one of them, are the most neurotically law-abiding, good, squared, put-together people. It's all I hang out with. All I hang out with is gun owners and, and, and liberty lovers and my fellow Texans and mil veterans I just, I just love all my veteran friends. If I call them at 2 a.m. and say, come help me in my truck, you know, and they get up and come help me. All these trendies wouldn't help you. You know, and, and of course, that's who the enemy wants to come after. It doesn't matter if the military's been used for evil stuff. They hate these people because on average, they're good people. And they want, how beautiful. They want us all to kill each other in a civil war. Let me tell you, the word's out. You're not going to get away with that plan. But imagine how desperate you'd be if you knew the plan and you knew you were right. And you've got their whole battle plan from the deep research. It's all right there. And now it's all getting ready to go operational. I mean, I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I could sit up here and be real calm and say, this is clearly a plan to demonize the liberty movement ahead of a provocation to come after us. But it's God-given natural thing that I'm obnoxious and like this to get people out of their trance. I don't do this on purpose. I can't control myself because this is a normal activity, folks. I mean, I literally, during this show, am ready to get in a fight. Because that's what it is. I'm here talking about this enemy running all over us, getting ready to do horrible things in our name and set us up. <clears throat> like you've never before, spread the word about InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com and anybody else that promotes liberty. Stand together, speak out, get ready, and warn everyone of stage false flags to be blamed on the liberty movement. This is real. Nightly News tonight, 7 o'clock, we'll cover all this in detail. PrisonPlanet.tv. Thank you all for being members of PrisonPlanet.tv. Thank all our stations, our listeners. God bless you. Ah! In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important.